In this last lesson of this quick start tutorial on how to light an exterior space in V-Ray for Cinema 4D, we will cover lighting exteriors at night. You can download the scene from the link below and follow along. For this exercise, we will start from scratch. However, some of the things that I will show you today I've already discussed in the previous video, so make sure that you check them out in case you missed it. I will create a physical camera from the V-Ray drop-down menu and clicking on this icon, I will be looking through the lens of the camera. I will move the camera to the bottom of the hierarchy to keep a nice file structure. Next, I will create a dome light from the drop-down menu since I will be lighting this scene using an HDRI image and I will move this also to the bottom of the hierarchy. Inside the light parameter, I will enable spherical dome as well as use texture in the texture map, I will insert a V-Ray advanced bitmap and then navigate to the file Moonlight Golf included in the download. I will then switch on V-Ray and enable the V-Ray frame buffer in the options and then I will do a test render. The image is obviously very dark. Let's change the camera parameters to obtain a better result. I will change the ISO to 200 the f-stop to 2 and then the shutter speed to 1000. If we test render you will see that the light is a lot better but we have very hard shadows whilst in reality at night shadows tend to be a lot softer. I also don't like the angle of these shadows and there is a reflection in the window due to the HDRI image position. Rotating the dome will fix this issue. With the dome light selected, I can activate the dome light texture viewer from the V-Ray drop-down menu in the workflow tab to better control the rotation of my environment. I will rotate the dome 50 degrees and switch off the dome light viewer. Also, I will lower the intensity of the shadows by using a color lighter than black. This is of course not possible in real life, but in CG you can tweak everything you want. I will also lower the intensity of the dome light to 0.5 and I will render again. The light of the image looks now like an evening light, but I would like for the sky to be a bit lighter. So I will turn the gamma value of the HDRI to 1.2. And then I will turn the ISO value of the camera to 800 to brighten up the image. Let's now place some V-Ray lights to illuminate the interiors. I will create a sphere light from the V-Ray drop-down menu and I will change the radius to 10. Inside the common tab, I will change the intensity unit from image to radiant power and give it an intensity of 1800 watts. You might have to test and see what intensity works best for you as there is no fixed rule. I will also give the light a random orange look and I will place it in the living room at the lower floor hiding it behind this corner. For convenience, I've placed three lights and gave them all different intensities and colors. You can try and do the same and test the results. Let's test render. The image is okay. I like the contrast between the inside and the outside. We will eventually fix the right exposure once the image is done using the exposure controls. Now let's place some square lights in the light poles in front of the house and in the light fountains placed on the facade left of the building. I will create a square light from the drop down menu and place it inside the right geometry facing vertical. I will change the unit from image to radiant power as shown you before and set the intensity of the light to 500 watts and enable the double sided option so that the light shines from both sides. Now I can simply duplicate this one light everywhere I need. For convenience, I've already placed the lights in the right place and grouped them together for you to test. The only thing left to do is to put some lights inside the swimming pool. I will create another square light with dimension of 5x5 five five, and I will give it a strength of 600 watts and a random bluish color. I will copy these lights three times and place these copies under the water looking towards the building. For convenience, I've already placed the lights in the right place and I've grouped them together for you to test. The test render suggests that the only light missing is the flame of the candles on top of the table. For that, I will create a standard material. 
and place a V-Ray Advanced Bitmap in the Basic tab in the Diffuse slot. And I will use the flame.jpg file included in your download. I will copy this shader inside the Opacity slot and replace the bitmap inside with the black and white flame texture. Since the transparency should be the opposite of this, I will invert the value in the output parameter. Then I will copy the diffuse shader into the self-illumination tab and raise the multiplier to 30. This will enable the material to shine like a light. I will place the material onto the flame model that you can find inside the hierarchy and render again. The image looks really good but it misses a bit of depth of field. I will select the camera and move the focus point to the front of the building. Then in the sampling tab I will enable the depth of field indicated with DOF and I will adjust the subdivision to 60. As you can see the image is now perfect. I can switch on the exposure control of V-Ray by clicking the button here and then tune the exposure as well as the contrast. I can lower the highlight burn to bring back some of the overexposed details. I can tweak the curves to make the render pop out. I can increase the saturation to accentuate the warm colors and maybe lower further the highlight burn value. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys at the next video.